Hello, my name is Colin Mahler and welcome to Beachcation.com. We are going to be making helm circle earrings today. Um, these, we're going to be learning how to make the helm chain, which is also known as the parallel chain. So if you've learned this chain before under a different name, you already know it. Um, so we're going to be learning how to make a little strip of this helm chain and then form it into a circle and then embellish it beautifully and put some ear wires on it and wear them as an earring. Um, this is a beginning class. If you are unfamiliar with opening and closing jump rings properly, you may want to check out a couple of our free classes on Chainmail. We have the intro to Chainmail and the free Byzantine class as well, and that will get you uh, geared up and ready to go for this class. Uh, I highly recommend that you watch this class all the way through um, before you get started, just to know what you're getting into and what you might what materials and whatnot you might need. Um, this is, we also do some wire wrapping when we do embellishing on this uh, pair of earrings. So if you're unfamiliar with how to wire wrap, you may want to go check out Lisa Niven Kelly's uh, Wire Jewelry Fundamentals and she will teach you all about how to wire wrap. Um, so let's go get started, make our helm circle earrings. So the tools you'll need to make your helm circle earrings are one pair of regular chain nose pliers, one pair of bent chain nose pliers, uh, one flesh cutter, and one round nose plier. All right, so here are all your materials that you're gonna be needing to make your helm circle earrings today. And you're gonna to be using two different sizes of jump rings. Both of them are 18 gauge. You'll need a six millimeter in the 18 gauge and a 3.5 millimeter in the 18 gauge. Uh, you're gonna need some of the Margarita Swarovski crystal flower beads. And I have some four and six millimeter Swarovski bicones uh, to dangle from the bottom of our earrings. Uh, you'll also need some head pins to dangle, dangle your beads with, uh, a pair of ear wires, um, some 24 gauge wire, and of course your ever trusty handy dandy paper clip. So these are a couple more items that you're gonna need to complete your helm circle earrings. You're gonna need about 12 of your three millimeter 18 gauge jump rings. We're gonna use these to attach our beaded dangles and our ear wire. And a bottle of clear nail polish, um, any kind, the better quality you get, the uh, longer it will last on your beads. And we're gonna be using that to paint the back of our margarita um, flower. Okay, so we are going to start by prepping our rings. Um, if you are unfamiliar with how to properly open and close your jump rings, I'm going to refer you to the two free classes on Chainmail, the Introduction to Chainmail and the Byzantine class. Um, so go check those out if you have not done the opening and closing of jump rings before. If you have, let's jump in. So to prep our rings, we're gonna be closing eight of our 3.5 millimeter jump rings and we'll be opening all the rest of both sizes, the 3.5 and the six millimeter jump rings. And to start our first earring, I am going to take one of my open six millimeter jump rings and I'm going to put four of my closed 3.5 millimeters onto it. I'm gonna go ahead and close this ring. Okay, so I have a single six millimeter ring with four of the 3.5 millimeter, millimeter rings hanging off of it. And now I'm gonna take another of my open six millimeter rings and I'm going to go through all four of those 3.5 millimeters again. So basically what I'm doing is I'm just doubling this six millimeter ring. And once you get that through all four of those smaller rings, go ahead and close it up. Now let the two six millimeter rings fall together, separate out two of the 3.5 millimeter rings and attach your paper clip through one of those two pairs. This will provide us a handle to hold on to as we're creating this little piece of chain and gives us a reference point as to what direction we're moving in. 
Now we're going to start this, but we're going to build a strip of chain and then we're going to join it in a circle. So this is our first strip of chain that we're building. So now I'm going to take another open six millimeter ring. And this is a little tricky. Pay attention. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this six millimeter ring and I want to go in between these two six millimeter rings and I want to come around this pair of 3.5 millimeter rings on the end here. This will make more sense in just a moment. So I'm going in between those two six millimeters. Oops. And I want to travel all the way across. Have them come out in between. See that? Don't worry, I'll do it again. So now I'm going to close it up. And I want to close it up so that when I get this ring closed, it's going to be going encircling around these two smaller rings. Okay. So now I need another open six millimeter ring, which I'm going to take and I'm going to go through these two 3.5 millimeter rings, staying to one side of that single ring that I just added. I'm going to close it up. Now I'm going to add another six millimeter ring. I'm going to go through those same two small rings again, this time staying on the other side of that single six millimeter ring. Now I'm going to close this up. Okay, so that's where we should be. Now I want two of the 3.5 millimeter rings, one at a time. So I'm going to go through the two 6 millimeter rings on the end of my piece of chain. Put that on there, close it up. And add my other ring. Again, through the same two six millimeter rings. Close it. Okay. So now I'm going to add another one of those single six millimeter rings, that floating ring. That single ring is literally trapped in the chain. It's not actually linked through anything. It's just sort of captured inside of the chain. So now we're going to take the six millimeter ring and again we're going to go in between this pair of six millimeter rings. So go in between like so. Did you see that? I made it look easy. Just practice. All right, now I'm going to close it up again. So I'm going to continue in this manner, building this little strip of chain. And I want to end up with a total of four pairs of these smaller rings. So I'm going to keep going. I've got a couple more steps. So I'm going to take, again, another six millimeter ring. I'm going to go through the two 3.5 millimeter rings, staying on one side of that single six millimeter ring. Close it up. I'm going to add that other six millimeter ring on the other side. Again, go through those two 3.5 millimeters, staying to the other side of that single ring and close it. Almost there. 
All right, so now we are going to add our last pair of 3.5 millimeter rings to the end of this chain. We're almost done. So I'm gonna put one, one ring on and close it. I'm gonna add my second 3.5 millimeter ring. Close it. All right, so now I want this little segment of chain to start and end with these single six millimeter floating rings. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one onto the end here. And take that single six millimeter ring. Once again, I'm going in between these two six millimeter rings like so, and I'm gonna close it up to the outside of these 3.5 millimeter rings, like so. Now I'm gonna take my paper clip off of this end, and I'm gonna add that single six millimeter ring to this end as well. So once again, I'm going in between this pair of six millimeter rings with the single six millimeter ring. Make sure that it's going around those two 3.5 millimeter rings on the end and close it up. And there's your little piece of chain. So again, you're starting and ending with the, six, the single six millimeter rings, those floating rings, and you wanna have one, two, three, four pairs of those 3.5 millimeter rings. And now that we have this built, you can go ahead and build your other section, and then we'll go ahead and join them in a circle. So now that we have our little strip of chain built here, we're ready to go ahead and turn it into this, connect it into a circle. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that aside. I'm gonna take my strip of chain and kind of turn it into a U like so. And what I'm, we're gonna be doing is to um, attach these two ends together with two of the six millimeter rings and we're gonna be going through these 3.5 millimeter rings on either end. So I'm gonna get a, an open six millimeter ring. And you can either leave this laying down on your work surface or if you can manage to arrange everything in your hands, work that way, whatever's most comfortable for you. So now I'm gonna take this open six millimeter ring, I'm gonna pick up the two 3.5 millimeter rings on one end, and then the two on the other. And now I am, again, staying to one side. I have these single six millimeter rings here. I wanna to stay to one side of those. Just going through those four 3.5 millimeter rings. And now I'm gonna close this up. like so. Okay, so I have that one there in place, so I need to add another one on the other side, so I'm gonna flip this over and pick up another open six millimeter ring. And again, I'm gonna go through these same four 3.5 millimeters, staying to the other side of those single six millimeters and I'm gonna close it. Like so. And there I have my little helm circle. So our next step is going to be to add our margarita beads into the center of our helm circle. So you're gonna need two of the margaritas. Um, these have a foil backing on them, which if there's any, if you're, when you, once you get these beads attached, if they're loose at all and they spin, uh, this foil backing is likely to kind of wear off and that's where all the pretty color comes from. So I have already gone and coated the backs of both of my margaritas. 
uh, with clear nail polish. So I highly recommend that you coat the backs of any of your foil backed Swarovskis um, with some clear nail polish just to protect it. And hopefully that will keep that backing from wearing off as you wear your lovely earrings. So you'll also need about inch, inch and a half of 24 gauge wire. And let's get these beads attached. So what I'm going to start off with here is my piece of wire and my round nose pliers. And I'm gonna take the tip of my wire and the tip of my round nose pliers here. Now I don't really want the edge of the wire to pop up past the edge of the jaws of my pliers here. So the wire's kind of sitting flush in the jaw of my round nose plier. And I'm just gonna take my pliers and I'm just, oops, gonna give it a little turn. I'm gonna make a little U in the end of my wire, like so. Then I want my chain nose pliers and I just wanna close this up. So I'm gonna uh, put one jaw like on the back of the loop and the other jaw at the um, end of the wire. And I'm just gonna give it a little squeeze. Oops like so very gently and just close that up. Kind of looks like a little P. So now I want my margarita and I want the loop to be to the outside, the colored side of my crystal. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide the margarita onto the wire. Make sure that lo the little loop you made is in fact big enough to hold the margarita in place. If you made a little teeny tiny loop on the end, it may just slip through the hole of the bead, so keep that in mind. Now I'm going to take my uh, helm circle and I'm going to put the wire straight through that middle hole there. So there's my margarita in the center on one side. Now I'm gonna hold everything in place with my finger and I'm gonna slide the other margarita, the color side up, onto my wire. Try to. All right. So now I've got my other margarita on there. I wanna make sure that both my flowers are nice and centered on my helm circle. And I'm gonna hold everything in place. I'm kind of pressing with my middle finger on my left hand here and then pinching down the margarita, the top margarita with my thumb. I wanna make sure I'm pushing this wire up and holding it tightly in place so there's no slack in it when I go to do this next step. And now I wanna cut this wire about, I don't know, an eighth of an inch or so. And again, I'm gonna come in with my round nose pliers. Grab the very tip of the wire with the tip of my round nose pliers. And I'm gonna start turning that into a little U on the end, like so. And again, with my chain nose pliers, I'm gonna come in, kind of squeeze that U closed. Try not to squeeze it too hard. If I do, I might make my loop a little too small and my margarita will fall right off. So that was a little bit long. I'm gonna come in and actually undo my loop and do it again, try and get rid of some of this length. So I just undid my little loop. I pulled it open again. I'm going to trim it just a smidge, teeny tiny bit, just off the end there. Come back in with my round nose pliers. Bring that down into a little U again. And now I'm going to get, again, I'm going to go with my chain nose and squeeze that closed. I want as little slack as possible on this. The tighter I can get these, the happier I am personally. I don't like them to spin because that will help wear the foil backing off. So I've got that pretty nice and tight. Not a whole lot of movement. And I have my margarita on either side.
So now that we have our uh, flower beads in place, um, I have gone ahead and wire wrapped all of my beads and gotten them ready to attach to my earring. Um, if you do not know how to make a wire wrapped loop, we do have a class called Wire Jewelry Fundamentals by Lisa Niven Kelly and she will teach you how to do that. Um, so I've done just a wire wrap loop up here where I'm going to attach um, this to the top of my earring and then to the ear wire and then I've just done my five dangles. Uh, four of the four millimeter bicones and a single six millimeter bicone to dangle off the bottom. We are going to go ahead and attach all of these dangles with three millimeter jump rings and 18 gauge and you're going to want to go ahead and open all 12 of those jump rings. So I'm going to go ahead and attach my center bottom dangle, which is my six millimeter bicone bead here. So I'm going to take my open three millimeter jump ring, put it through the loop on my wire wrap. Now you can either attach this, you can orient your earring any way you want to with the uh, four millimeter jump rings being at like a diagonal or you can turn it like so and have all those squared off. It's totally up to you. I like to have them at the diagonal, so that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take my three, millim three millimeter jump ring and my six millimeter crystal and I'm just going to attach it to this bottom pair of jump rings here. Go ahead and close that up. Hmm. And my wire up is stuck, there we go. So I wanna make sure that my dangle hangs free, which it does, like so. Now I'm going to add four millimeter beads on this ring here and this ring here and then the same on the other side. And again, I am attaching all of these beaded dangles with three millimeter 18 gauge jump rings. Attach this dangle, close the jump ring, like so. So now I'm gonna go ahead and add my other four millimeter jump ring on this side, or four millimeter bicone crystal, sorry. And again, close that jump ring. There we go. I see that. Now I'm going to repeat that on the other side of my earring and even it out. And then we'll go ahead and attach our ear wire to the top. All right, so now I've finished attaching all of my beaded dangles here. Now I'm going to go ahead and attach my ear wire to the earring. I'm going to be using one, um, another one of the three millimeter jump rings to do this. So I want to go straight up from that six millimeter where that six millimeter bead is attached to the opposite side. And that's where I will attach my ear wire. So I'm gonna put that three millimeter jump ring on that top pair of six millimeter rings. I'm gonna take my wire wrapped bead and slide it onto that jump ring and then close it up. Like so. And then I'm going to take my ear wire and I'm going to go ahead and open up this loop down here on the bottom. And I'm going to open it up just like I would a jump ring. I'm gonna twist it open like so. And you're gonna take the loop, slide it onto the end of your ear wire and get it down so that it's hanging off that loop like so. Then go ahead and twist the ear wire closed again. And there you go. Your earring is all ready to wear. All right, so here is the earring that we just finished making. And of course, there are so many places to dangle beads from and you could dangle groups of beads for various colors of beads, of course, different sizes, shapes, whatever you want to do. Um, on this earring here, I've oxidized the metal. Um, I dipped it in the liver of sulfur. 
then I went over the top and kind of scrubbed the surface with uh, a pro polish pad after my piece was all dry to get off all the sur surface oxidation and then I threw the piece back in the tumbler and tumbled it to bring it back to being shiny again. Um, I also tumbled or uh, oxidized the ear wire and all the wire that I used to make it so that it would match the metal. Um, and then I also, on this one, I added some chain to do more of a little chandelier kind of thing and then uh, attach my wire wrap beads to the chain. Um, so again, there are many, many ways for you to uh, embellish these lovely earrings. So use your imagination and all those beads you have stocked up at home and have a good time. Well, thank you for joining me here today to make your Helm Circle earrings. As usual, I hope you had a great time and that you're wearing your fabulous new pair of earrings right now. Um, if you need, if you're looking for any of the tools and materials for this project, please check out beachcation.com. Look in our shop. There's all kinds of stuff to choose from. Um, and yeah, if you have any comments or feedback, please feel free to get in touch with us here at beachcation.com. Thanks a lot. See you next time. <music>